Hey Internet. Hey YouTube. This is Nate. You can also call me Nathan, but please never call me Nathaniel. And welcome back to Monster Train, The Last Divinity. We are super close to finishing off all of the clan combos. Uh, only got a few left. And uh, yeah, we're going to keep plugging along today. Yeah, I still have all the uh, fun from uh, the community events. Load it up here. But yeah, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 clans left. We do have a lot of cards, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, that we still have to clear. But uh, we're making progress. Let's do a... Um, let's do a... Hmm... Awoken Umbra? We could do Awoken Umbra. It's a little bit of an awkward clan combo. Also, I just realized we have the uh, Monster Train music on. We'll turn that back off. A um, little bit of, a, of an awkward combo with Wildenton, but we'll, we'll make it work. I think the idea is that you put Wildenton together with a really good tank, and you can kind of do a, a, a rat trap build using a tank and Wildenton with Strangler. Could work pretty well. Uh, biggest issue is going to be how do you fit? <laughs> how do you fit everybody? Um, might be a two floor setup. I don't know. There's there's, there's options. We'll see how we'll see how we make it work. Uh, let's go ahead and try that. So we have Wildenton plus Umbra, and I think. Hmm. Plink or Shade Splitter? That is a choice. Uh, Plink is better early. Shade Splitter is better if we need consistent gorge. Plink is better if we don't need the gorge, but just need the. Random damage. Um, I'm going to assume that we're going to need consistent gorges and take the shade splitter here. There's some good combos though. You can get like overgorger with awoken units, and that can be very, very strong. Uh, I mean, shadow eater is always going to be very strong. We can get um, cultivate with a lifesteal unit can be pretty good. So we got we got a lot of options here. Ooh, split anvil or cleansing water. Given a double peril start, hmm, double perils kind of puts me off of uh, split anvil. I think cleansing water might be better here. If we can get holdover and uh, spell chain on a perils, ooh, whew, um, I think it's predator. And we'll just go in. We don't need to take the money here. Um, 20 armor can be really frustrating, or 10 armor can be really frustrating for these disciples, but I mean, the worst case is that they do a couple hits to our pyre, but we get a unit out of it. This seems like it's an okay trade. Uh, let's go top floor. Block with a train steward, and we're not going to play this perils yet. A little too early. Okay, we can glimmer here to greed. Big fan of that. Uh, we cannot fit any other units up there, so I guess we just play Train Stewards out. Try to get rid of some of the armor. Um, double Root Seeds will get us to almost... So this is like a, this is a tough choice. If we play this Perils, we're only going to take two damage. But then we have very little Ember for next turn. Um, hmm... Also, we should have put this uh, Untumber Morsel up front. That was a mistake. Missed five damage there. Um, I think we'll do it. Because I'm already worried we're going to take a lot of damage. This guy is going to hit us. There's like no way for us to hit him. And... I mean, Glimmer here does keep this Train Steward alive. It does keep the Train Steward alive. Um... Yeah, we do that. Gotta take a couple hits here. Yeah, 11 damage. If we can not take any more damage, I will be fine with this. Just get a little bit of damage out of you. Root Seeds. Let's hit five times. I think we are hitting five times, so we're good. Okay. 
So not the cleanest first ring, but it was okay. Razor Sharp seems very good. And I mean, Immortal Trade is also okay. I don't think making a morsel is it. This would lean more into the Ember Drain package, but you could do something like double stack and permafrost and then just wait and play it at the end for the boss. I mean, eight life steal is like really good. So we'll go with that for now. There's a sweeper. We do have quick. And then maybe some type of gorge effect on it would be pretty good. Uh, otherwise we get something like Could just get the health from Husk Hermit or vice versa. Put the uh, Slay trigger. It's probably going to be Shattered Shell onto Husk Hermit. And we can do it immediately. So let's just do that. Okay, so we take Shattered Shell, put it onto Husk Hermit. So we get pretty decent stats here on our Husk Hermit. We have Intrinsic. It's not the best. Minus two is also not great either. Um, maybe we get multi-strike? We do get multi-strike. Wow, that's a very, very early multi-strike. And it's going to be quick. So now, um, I mean, Strangler seems like it would be okay, but I'm also thinking, like, what if we get, uh, what if we get Thornlord, which would not be terrible here. So the nice thing is, is that, uh, these two together clear the entire floor without taking any damage. Love to see that. Let's put these guys in the middle. Uh, you know, let's split the difference. We can take one Ember Drain to get the Collector. Okay, we're getting the Collector anyway. Um, biggest issue right now is Sustain. That's why I'm thinking like Thorn Lord might be the play, but let's see how it goes. I mean, this first boss is going to be a huge pushover. We only have 25 shards, so not terribly worried here. Yeah, we can even pump them up, give you a Mortal Trade, and Razor Sharp Edge. We're just crushing it here. So we need spell upgrades. Uh, we would like another multi-strike if possible. Um, I just don't believe in regen. <laughs> I think Steel Enhancer is just better. There's a second Immortal Trade, but I'd rather upgrade and dupe the one we have. Pack Morsels. I mean, we could take one Gorger as like a uh, as a Relentless Protection. Hmm. Maybe we don't take this though. What do we what do we get upcoming? Let's look at the map. I mean I would be totally fine to go here. So we get Umbra Banner, Herzl's Horde. Thing is we also have like we we have two descends. We have Cave In and we have Um Restoring Retreat. So there's the possibility we could play, we could dupe our uh, sweeper and put it on the bottom floor as well. Um, I'm going to take this Umber Banner. So in that case, I'm going to... We can always take the Packed Morsels as a distraction for Seraph the Chaste as well. I'm going to assume that we're going to have a Gorger. So there's an Alloyed. And we could just go Robot up at the top. Shadow Reader is also very good, though. But I think we need something that bursts. I don't think we want... I think we want this. And then we will merge it with a uh, Gorger of some kind. So, Morsel Master plus that. Or Morsel Maker. Like, both are really good. And then during Divinity, we just need to get either some form of Daze or we swap the floors, put you in the middle. And just find a way to keep you alive. And Morsel Maker does that to a large extent. The problem is that the Morsels themselves die. We'd have to get some kind of protection for Morsels. But we have really consistent generation right now. We have all of these, plus we now have a packed Morsels. I feel like we could just go... But I mean, Robot on Robot is also very good. Which we could do. We could go Umbra Banner next. Just thinking. Just thinking. I think I'm going to skip here. I'm going to go robot with robot. Okay. Uh, Cheater's Hand is probably the best out of these. And... 
What do we get from the caverns? We haven't done either of these two. This is also another way to send a unit. This is enemy units. To send a unit. Okay, so trapdoor is another way we could dis we could like bring the robot down at the end, or just descend another unit, or we could just descend an enemy unit. So this has a lot of flexibility for us. Um, intrinsic. No spell chain though on a perils is very good, and we're not going to merge anything yet. Okay, so then next we'll, we'll dupe the robot, put it on itself, unless we happen to get another robot, and then we can just do it on itself. And then go left path and remove. Okay. Um, train steward. We can play both. 20 plus 16. I mean, we'll be killing one and then hitting the second. So we're going to have a tiny bit of damage left over, but like not a lot, actually. Okay, and then what are you doing? You push back. Let's just put you up top. And I'm gonna let this guy die. He loses a life, or she loses a life still as well. Okay. Um I think we're gonna use trap shoot onto you. Prevent all damage. And play you out. Seems good. Okay. It's all fine. Uh, root seeds. Just clears the floor. And then we can root seeds you as well. Okay. We need more morsels. Uh, let's put a perils behind. Uh, we can go... Rage, Rage, then Glimmer, Root Seeds, and I actually don't even mind the Lifesteal. Uh, but it's like a little bit too early, but I think it's still okay. Get full health. Okay, um, let's hold back. Let me think. Hold back the glimmer. We're already, we're already gonna have full um, ember drain here, so I'm gonna go all in, and we will root seeds you as well, give you steel enhancer, and we should probably just get the kill. Like, just keep this in our hand. How are we doing? Fantastic. Not only that, we can actually put uh, more rage. Play you out. Play you. I mean, we're good. Let's just finish it off. So so far, very solid. So far, very solid. It's clean, clean plays. Uh, adaptive does not really fit here. I don't. Well, the rage though. With the rage, it's not terrible. We could rage up a unit and then do a swap. I mean, that's 6 rage. It's 12 extra damage. Plus, it's a full heal. If we could minus 2 and remove consume, that could be a really solid way to just like heal over and over again. Plus, get value from our rage. I mean, it's not a ton. It's not a ton of rage. You get... What? Six rage for this, three rage for this, and it gets cleansed. Um, I think I'm gonna skip. Yeah, forever consumed. It's a way to dump our ember if we get a lot, but I, I think it's not gonna be super valuable here. So we could also put animus of will onto the robot, but that doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. We're just gonna skip here. And we don't really need extra capacity. Uh, I'm trying to think about draw though. Like we have a draw relic already, and we have root seeds. It might be ember, although we do get ember drained. Is it capacity? Oh man, this is tough. Hmm. 
Ember becomes less valuable if we get holdover on perils. But it's very valuable if we don't. Let's look at the map again. So we dupe here to merge the robot with the robot. We take this Umber Banner. Maybe it's something good. Maybe it's something better. Maybe it's like a Morsel Mate or something like that. Um, we upgrade probably with Thorn Lord if possible. Or we go Extra Predator if not, I guess. And then we just need some way to heal. Or even just get damage shield. I'm not really sure yet. Um, we, pro we go left path here. We go right path here. We decide, depending on if our Merchant of Steel was really good. And then we decide here as well. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take... I'm going to take one... I'm going to take one draw right now. And then we'll see. We might... I'm just not sure if we need extra capacity is the is the thing. So we're going to go right path. We'll see what this is first. Yeah, neither of these are going to be as good as just straight... Oh... No. No, no, no. no. It's not, we don't want to restore extra health. I don't think. No, no, no. We just put the robot with the robot. Oh, whoops. I have to dupe the robot. <laughs> Uh, there's the minus two we could have put on adaptive mutation, but it's fine. Okay. Then we can put this onto one of the glimmers. How thick is... Uh, okay, we go Predator. It's a little bit weird. I, I don't I don't love it necessarily, but... I would have much rather gotten Thornlord for the extra HP. But it's fine. Put you here, put you here. And then if we double... So, robot's going up top. I'm just thinking, like, do we actually want to play this here? I don't think so, but boy, we really need to get a morsel next turn. Okay, we got lots of morsels. That's good. Well, we got, we got some morsels. Okay. We're doing some damage. Um, bu 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 let's put back one root seeds. You're actually killing him. Okay, well there you go. Uh, razor sharp on you. Steel enhancer on you. Let's give you a morsel, and then just more roots on you. Okay. I mean, we might end up just bringing Alloy Construct down at the end. After we get him full of fuel. I mean, we're not going to do it now. Like, there's no reason to do it now. So let's just play this. Get all three of you in there. We can play this. Um, play both of these guys out, just to get them out. I would like an Immortal Trade. I think. Just to get this guy back to full health. But it would leave us with... An Ember Drain. That's probably fine. Just get you back to full health. And... We'll leave it at that. Okay. We are going to kill this guy up top. Oh, man. We got Trap Shoot. The wrong time. Um... Stats. I'm just thinking, like... I mean, you're, you're probably fine. We can go like this, put you out. I'm just thinking that we're, we probably would make sense to just get a bunch of rage 
on maybe it's Wildenton. Because we're going to have the boss next turn. And yeah, we're going to have a lot of Ember Drain, but like they're going to die. Either they're going to kill the boss or they're going to die. And either way, it doesn't really matter. Let's just do that. Okay. Oh, he lost his uh, extra spikes and stuff there. That's pretty good. Yeah, we're just crushing it down here. Okay. So the yeah the big thing is just uh, either we have to have a robot that can take hits. There is restoring retreat. That's the way to overstack the floor. Okay, okay. Um, holdover feast is a way that we don't ever have to worry. But I'm also thinking like gem trove is really good. But I think I think it's holdover feast. Then we can play things and always eat them with the alloy construct and never have to worry about the morsels dying. And I would even do Holdover Feast over um, Holdover Perils, I think, at this point. But let's see. We can go left path. Remove two train stewards. The nice thing is, is that we're consistently getting like eight or nine draw per turn. So there's Holdover Feast. Again, that's pretty, pretty necessary. Um, now what do we want to minus? I think it's still Root Seeds. Free Root Seeds are always going to be valuable. And double stack. I'm a big fan of the double stack on the immortal trade. And then I don't even think we make it free. I think we just focus on other things first. We're, we're basically going to play that as a finisher. You put it onto a unit to just survive longer. The only problem is that all of our units multi strike. That's that's currently the problem. But anyway. Okay, so we're going to go unit upgrades next. And then I think at one point we have a chance to dupe our sweeper. And then descending retreat them. Okay, uh, 150 coins for 6 damage. Uh, this is a little bit scarier. For 150 coins. Um... Ooh, I'm just thinking, I think the robot can handle it, but it's it's a little scary. It's a little scary. It's a lot of damage. Mm-hmm. I mean, right now, like, our Wildington's almost dying immediately. Although we can Glimmer, that will help. And then play the robot and just give you extra stats. We're not going to perils here. here. Um, let's wait for the piercing glimmer. Put you up front. Give you more stats. Got to get at least one eats here. Um, I'm going to keep holding back the immortal trade. Problem is this guy sweeps. I almost wonder... I think we have to just take his damage. But oh, the problem is, is that we can't... If I if I delay, I can eat more. But the question is how much value does that actually give us? This is the, this is the question. I really wish we had the feast right now. So we're going to play this. Um, we're going to give you more damage. I kind of like bringing this guy down so that we can eat a lot. But we have to heal him to do that. But honestly, I think it's still the best play. This guy's going to hit our pyre for a lot. We're going to do this. And hope that the bottom floor can somehow handle this. Well, currently, the sweeper is dying. But there might be a way around that. Oh, you know what we can do? We can trap shoot this guy. Um, double shade splitter. Please be Ember. Okay, not yet. This is fine. Uh, 
definitely gonna play razor sharp on you and everything's almost dying it's now a question of I really want to play the immortal trade I really want to play the immortal trade right now so I think what we do is we go perils perils Immortal Trade to heal him back to full. Eat. Um, he's going to lose all of his lifesteal right now. I'm going to start stacking the robot. I think the robot is the key to victory here. Uh, are you hitting? If you're hitting, I'd rather have you kill the robot and then, or kill that guy and then the robot kills you. Okay. This is kind of working. Root seeds. You know what we could even do is uh, root seeds again. Perils. Perils. Restoring retreat, he's gonna die instantly to this guy. And just keep stacking play feast. Okay. How's it oh my gosh, he lost all of his lifesteal. Um 204 is not enough. He's doing 14 damage per turn. Uh we can do a glimmer. Which would get a second hit from the Wildenton. Let's see what we get out of these Shade Splitters. Not the most exciting Shade Splitters ever. I mean, Immortal Trade will help a bit, but I am very nervous that we're just not gonna have enough damage. Okay, so we can go Steel Enhancer, Shade Splitter. No Ember Morsels. If we give him Life Steal, it gives him three hits. It's 180 per hit right now. Man, I would love a morsel here, but I think immortal trade is necessary. So 100, so it's 180, 180 per hit, and then he's at the end going to be able to get hit two, three more times. No, twice more. Yeah, it's 42. Oh, no, 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 more now because he's going to get plus six. So three more times after that. So 180 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, times six is good. We're good. So play this, feast. And we should be killing him. Yeah. Okay. Scary stuff. Scary stuff. But we did make it without taking any damage, um, which is fantastic. Very, very scary, though. Definitely don't need another Restoring Retreat. I don't think we want Edge Prior either. We'll just skip here. Mm. Hmm. I think it's another skip. I mean, engine upgrade is kind of interesting, but I just kind of feel like we just need to get hold over on our perils of production. That's that's the better setup here. So I'm gonna probably just plan on filling out Merchant of Steels right now. Like second multi strike on the sweeper. That's gonna help out a lot. Um, just wondering if we just want like I think we want like maybe health and damage a battle stone make him a little bit chunkier I don't even hate large stone here I think it's going to be important and then we increase capacity yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah that's right Oh, this is draw. This is ember. We have two glimmers, and we have life steal, and we have restoring retreat. That's a lot of draw potential out of this. Worn grindstone is also really good though for this guy, and for Wildenton, and it's actually good for everybody. We just take worn grindstone. Yeah, that's plus forty-five damage across all of our units. Uh, let's get rid of a train steward. That seems fine. 
And this is shaping up to be a decent run here. Um, I mean, it really depends on if we can get some form of long-term sustain, which is currently not not in the cards, but maybe uh, maybe we'll get something. I'm going to... We can play everything. Let's keep the dead weight. One, two, three, four. Yeah, because we can play the uh, Shade Splitter first. Then play the robot. Then rage this instead. I um, think we still want the sweeper up front. And then with Wildenton... It's really close. Why are we taking so much damage? Oh, because it's not quick yet. That's quick. We take six. If I play this, he kills it. Well, he uh, Wilden then kills it. That's probably worth it. Get you out there. Okay. Because we get an Ember as well. So we're going to come back with two Ember, which is just as much as we would have most of the time anyway. You're clearing everything. That's fantastic. Uh, it's Weight of Contrition, so we can play this without any problems at all. And get you out there. Uh, we didn't take the draw. That's fine. We just take uh, Invigorating Solution and draw three, I think. Cool. Alright, this guy's pretty big. Um, each one of these is worth six damage. So there's six. Twelve. Oh my gosh, it's so close. Oh, with a... Uh, uh, Interesting. Double excavators. Man, I'm not going to hate on that. Um, I'm going to play the feast elsewhere because we don't need it up there when it's going to increase stuff. Uh, we could just stun him. If we wanted. This will not kill him because then the husk Kermit won't get the slay trigger. I think we're just going to give him extra damage. And leave it like that for now. Because again, we can always bring the robot down to the floor at the end with the... Uh, Trap shoot. Okay, so... We can play... Let's go... One... Two... Play both of you out. And eat. And the order was important because it's the only way we can get um, Ember Morsels. is by doing it that way. And this guy's stats are getting huge. Uh... You will actually live here, which is... Oh, actually, you won't. And you're going to give away to Contrition. Well, there you go. Um, that's fine. And then... An extra 10 would be plus 30. If we put all of this onto you, we might get the kill. Yep, we do. The other thing that this does is uh, it clears the first one in two hits instead of three, which gives us even more damage going into it. This is fine. We get one garbage because of that misplay. Um, I think we just delay this for the future. Please get a uh, Ember Morsel. Well, you know, you can ask. Not guaranteed, but you can always ask. Uh, Robot currently has 14 fuel, so if we trap shoot him, like he's good for the rest of the fight. Makes me wonder if we should just trap shoot him now. Play this. That give him two days for later. Yeah, I mean he's gonna have 12 hits. 12 hits is gonna be enough to kill. So I think we actually do. I think we bring him down. And just wait. Um, Steel Enhancer. Root Seeds. I think we don't need Feast here. I'm just wondering about Immortal Trade if it's actually necessary. Uh, we can just hit this guy instead. Okay. Just keep delaying the inevitable here. Um... We could even bring, bring we could even bring down the train steward if we want. Uh, 
So the boss is coming next turn. I think we go... Perils? Perils. Immortal Trade. Root Seeds. Root Seeds. Shade Splitter. Restoring Retreat. Okay. I think this should be enough to kill Arcus. Yeah, only our uh, Husk Hermit is dying here. And even then, it's not like by a lot. In fact, we can keep Husk Hermit alive. Look at that. Wow. It's pretty good. So we want... Um, trample. Uh, yeah, Trample's really good on our sweepers. We'll do it. And... We did say extra capacity, but now I think it might actually be Ember. Because we're drawing a lot. Like, we're getting a lot of draws. Yeah, but if we get holdover on Perils, then it's, like, completely worthless. We're going to be ending with Merchant of Magic, because we have to dupe. So, and we got all the Merchant of Steel stuff. We're going to go this path. I'm going to take... I'm going to take Capacity. This means that we can occasionally block on the bottom floor with a Morsel if we needed to. We're going to go left. Take some money. Remove. This Train Steward. And I'm also going to remove this Glimmer. We might end up removing the other Glimmer as well, but let's see. Okay, so I mean, Chain of Gems means that we can play other stuff out and not have to worry about it. Like, I think Chain of Gems is just really good. This means we can jump, chump block with Morsels on the bottom floor. And they'll take three hits. Lost Luggage is also very good, but I think it's not as vital. Um, okay, interesting. Uh, commemorative Spike. It will absorb the Chain of Gems, unfortunately. Huh. It's not Capricious Reflection. It's either First Health Pact or Commemorative Spike. The problem is we don't actually have a Spike. We don't have any X cost. Would have been great if we had the one X cost, but we don't have it. Oh, man. I don't think we can do Commemorative Spike. Because it just it takes the chain of gems, but maybe that's okay. Maybe it's fine, and then we just use it for. Hmm. An awkward choice. I think we're gonna go with. I think we're gonna go with commemorative spike. Ah. Gosh dang it. Yeah, we're gonna go with it. It's really awkward though. Uh, I do want Thornlord. I do want him to have a little bit extra, and the three stings at the beginning will be really valuable. Just want him to have more health. Slightly more health. Start of the battle, units appear on each floor. That's fine. That's what the stings are for. Okay. So. We get... You up front. Actually, there's a big problem here. Maybe there's a big problem here. If we feast... And then block with a Shade Splitter, I think we're fine. Actually, we're even fine now. Razor Sharp would kill the front unit. Then we can go one, two. Three. It's not amazing. In fact it's 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 almost downright scary. Um because this guy just kills us. There's nothing we can do about it. Oh wait no, we we can we can. We can block with the Block with the train stewards. We're going to play you here. I 
Actually, we're going to play this first. Play a couple of them. Oh, I just realized I didn't put a thing in front. I'm in trouble. Oh, wait, okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta redo that. Sorry about this. I just realized I played that wrong. I didn't play a morsel on the bottom, and I also didn't uh, play the morsels in the right positions. So we're gonna go, we're gonna do this again. We're gonna play you up front. You here. Smack. 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 We can feast, and then we razor sharp you. Okay. So, now, yeah. Now, uh, we play the first morsel down here. It lives and almost everything dies. That's good news for us. Then we play La Robot. We could try to perils down here, but I think it's just better to perils him. Or maybe this. Give us another Shade Splitter. Feast. To kill three of them. And then just stack up as high as we can. Okay. Take one hit to the pyre for 10. That's not bad. All right, we're gonna have to do something very similar here. Um, in fact, we're gonna have to shade split to the bottom and uh, piercing here. I think, oh no, we can glimmer down here to keep you alive. Yeah, that's just better. Now we're good. Okay. So then, uh, let's play the Shade Splitter. Here. And I kind of like the idea of trap shooting you. Because I think we're going to be able to kill this guy. Like, if we perils him, so if we, we steal Enhancer, and then perils... and then perils. We can trap shoot you, reducing the damage, give you trample, feast, and this will kill him. Okay. Then we can start finding a way to heal. Um, I also kind of like so watch this. We go pack morsels. Completely mess up here. We've stacked this floor with morsels. Um, if we get ember morsels, but ah, that's so risky. I think, uh, no, no, no. We actually need them now. Uh, crap. I played that wrong. The idea was to, if we had Ember Morsel, we could bring everything down, and then... I guess we could still do it later. Yeah, there's still a chance we could do it. Uh, let's play these. Okay, we get one back. And then... Root Seeds. We're just trying to get to where... Okay, let's hold this over for next turn. Play this. Steel Enhancer, Root Seeds, Root Seeds. And I don't think we need Feast necessarily, so let's just hold off on that. How are we doing? 794, that's not bad. Um, let's hold over this... Perils? Maybe a Sting, it uh, doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're going to go one, two. Oh, I could have blocked with the thing, but it's fine. 
We're going to end up doing this anyway. To keep him around a lot longer. Let me go this, into this, into this, into root, root, and we don't hit him with these. And if we can descend, that would be the ideal. He is not one-shotting our dude. So yeah, we just descend and then we win. Okay. Because he gets life steal, he gets damage shield, and he's got tons of damage. Okay. Excellent. We took the 10 pyre damage, but everything else was really clean. Um, man, really loving to give us for strong retreats, but just don't need them. Ember Cache is interesting. No X cost, so I'm glad we took the commemorative spike. Just another skip, yeah. Focus on what we have. All right, let's see what we get out of the trinkets. Each time enemy dies, add two morsels. It's not bad. And then re-roll. Please get morsels have damage shield. Please get morsels have damage shield. We don't, but we get mind jacks, which means we can play the robot on the middle floor. And that's almost as good. And then we really need holdover. We don't need to remove consume. We want uh, more free root seeds or free immortal trade. More free root seeds. Hold over, please. Permafrost. Permafrost on immortal trade, I think. Just wait to play it until the end, because we don't need it until we need it. Like, <laughs> I know it sounds stupid, but we really just we only need it like at exactly the moment that we need it. And before then, it doesn't really matter. I would do a minus two on something like the Trample, the Umber Stone, just to make sure we can play it. Oh no, it's on Restoring Retreat. Restoring Retreat being free makes a lot more sense. And I think we're still going to dupe Shattered Shell, especially now that the uh, Restoring Retreat's free. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to play bottom floor... And honestly, I don't know how it's going to go. The, my biggest concern is that we can't kill everything with the sweepers. So let's hold the sweeper until we get Restoring Retreat. We're going to play you up front. Play you. Here. We're clearing everything but the backliner. And we can smack you to get more morsels. Smack, smack. Prep these guys here. We can actually fit one more, uh, and then just play this. Okay. And then we just hold on to this, uh, hold on to this guy until we get Restoring Retreat, which we still don't have. So we're gonna hold on to him again. Play, oh, whoops. Um, awkward. Okay, uh, drop you down. <laughs> play you, because I can't remember anything. And, oh, I could have blocked with the thing, too. Uh, can we kill this guy? Oh, we can do this. Well, at least now it doesn't die. Um, we're going to double root. Just wondering, does this actually get us there? It's going to be an extra 12 damage. I don't believe it does. We can stack up this middle floor. So you are probably the least valuable. We can play one more. The idea here is that then we can play our sweeper. Ah, but uh, but you're gonna you're gonna clear the whole floor. Well, um, what do we have coming up? Not really sure. I don't think giving them both this is going to make sense. Because we just... Uh, yeah, we don't play it. Just going to have a lot of stuff that's going to die next turn. But luckily we have a lot of morsels. 
Uh, so let's hold you back. We're gonna play. We're gonna play the sweeper up top, and then we get the restoring retreat next turn. That's the good news. So we go. Um, oh, we can feast. So we play this on you. Play you. Feast. Which gives us enough stats to kill this guy. Uh. Plus 30 is not quite enough. But you know what we can do? We can go, so we go you. Play you in the back. You're gonna give him life steal for next turn. Play you up here. Play you up here. And we could play this, but I think the Ember Drain is gonna be really annoying if we do that. This would heal, but we don't need to heal. We're good. Just Glimmer here, I guess. Okay, excellent. We take one Ember Drain for all that. Seems fine. How are we doing? How are you dying? Oh, you didn't life steal. Why didn't, did the guy die? I mean, it's fine, we can life steal now. So it's not like it's the end of the world. Um, Okay, so how do we want to do this? We want to, let's unlock this guy first. Just see what we get. So I like putting you here. No, no, we need to do lifesteal. We need to do lifesteal. Yeah, we have to do lifesteal or else he just dies. So this is where we're going to feast. If that's where we're going to feast, I like chump blocking with you here. Lay you here and feast. That gets us the life steal we need. Play you up here to grow you a bit, give you more stats, more stats, more stats, and then we don't play Umberstone yet. Maybe at all, we'll have to see. Okay. Um, Umberstone came right back. Let's just hold on to, you know, Immortal Trade. It'll come back. So then, um, do we want to put anything else down here? I don't think we need to. I think we just want to bring you down. So now we have all three. We play this. We can play all three of these. And then feast them. Then play Invigorating Solution. Glimmer would save you a damage shield. Glimmer up here is just bad. Glimmer to give us two more. And then give you Trample. Excellent. Now we're clearing the whole floor every time, which is really solid. Um, again, Immortal Trade gets held over. And I mean, we can just smack this guy for basically no reason other than to just incant, I guess, or Thorn Lord. Um, give you more stats. Uh, let's start putting also stats onto you guys and play these guys out. Cool. We probably don't need Feast anymore. One more turn left. And I think we're, I think we're there. I think we are, I think we're gonna be fine. We're gonna do, um, I don't think we're gonna kill with this floor necessarily, because uh, I mean, Seraph's gonna hit us for a lot, but I think we are gonna be able to kill with the robot. He already has three damage shield. We can get him some more damage shield, <laughs> but I mean, he's doing, he's doing a lot of damage. He's doing 240, he's gonna be doing over 300 by the time Seraph actually comes around. Um, continue to stack your damage, your damage, your damage. I mean, this floor right now is doing 300, 400, like 550. It's probably going to be well over 600 by the time we're done. 
I think we're gonna be fine. Play this. Play this. Uh, get another damage shield on you. Play you here for fun. And then I think we just do this now. Yeah, so we're gonna get a, we're gonna get a um, perils next turn. Okay. All right, how's it looking? We're not killing yet, but I haven't also added the uh, immortal trade. Immortal trade will give us three more hits. Uh, you know what we can do also is restoring retreat, so we can put all these guys down here. Then restoring retreat our robot. He's gonna eat all those just fine. Give you more rage, more rage, more rage. Give you more stats. Root, root, life steal. 2300, and you're gonna be doing 300 per hit. You're gonna have enough damage shield to last you a while, and you have enough just like stats. Okay, how's it looking? We're getting the kill. It's a lot closer than I uh, was expecting it to be, to be honest, but we are getting the kill, so no complaints here. Um, we'll just finish it off. Now for the big test. Uh, we are going to play the robot in the middle floor, and we may have to occasionally block with uh, morsels. We're going to play robot and the sweeper on the middle floor. We're going to occasionally block with morsels, and I'm just nervous about the bottom floor, really. I think we can get pretty close to killing everything. We cannot play everything. Let's hold on the robot. So if we play you, we play Wildington. It's very close. I think with... So Sting. Razor Sharp. Might actually do it. Let's see. Razor Sharp actually does it. The problem is, is that this damage is just going to be obnoxious. But we can start chump blocking with other units. That's the nice thing. Uh, we can also play you here. We're going to put the robot there as well. Next turn, I'm pretty sure. I think the top floor is too scary, but I don't know. I mean, the robot, the robot has a lot of health. I think he'll be okay. Um, this is very scary. We're gonna play these guys, these guys down here as well. And are you just killing everything, by the way? One, killing this one next. No, I think you're actually Wellington's killing a couple things. Um, we could trap shoot Divinity to give us two turns where Divinity does not hit us. That might actually be relevant. Just to give us a little bit of time. Okay. Then... Um, let's see. Let me think. We're gonna play something to block, but I mean, look, we're already we're already clearing the floor. I'm just trying to think what we want to hold over. Probably a shade splitter, since we already have a lot of morsels. So this is the tough question because we can already play you up here, and you would take damage a lot slower. We have the feast. You're doing just fine. I think the way we play this is we play um, we play a lifesteal morsel here to block the hits. We play you here. We get you in there. We get you in there. And then the first question is, where do we want these rage? Do we actually want to get rage on anything? I think the answer is no. I think what we want to do is grow you. We want to double perils. 
This guy, since he's going to be gorged, root seeds you again, and then feast. Yeah, that seems like the play. 177 up there is not bad. Okay. All right. How's it looking? Uh, I think if I'm looking at it correctly, it looks a little scary. Bop, 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 bop. I think we hold off on invigorating for now. Okay. The glimmer here is massive and important. It's very, very important because it saves the Husk Hermit. So we play this first. Then we bring you down. And now we cannot block. But my goodness, we're gonna get a lot out of this guy. Well, we're gonna get an average amount. We're gonna play you. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, we had to do that. And then just extra damage, extra damage. Maybe should have played a morsel down here. Yeah, that probably was the play. Uh, let's give you more stats. Feast. And what do we have coming up? We have the Immortal Trade. So there's a chance we can save Husk Hermit. And we probably just get rid of all the morsels at this point. Like, we'll keep the packed morsels, but like the other ones don't really matter. Okay. So, hold off for now on trample. It might even be for a while. Uh, go one, two. Play both of you. Eat ya. And Immortal Trade. Root Seeds. Steel Enhancer. Okay. The nice thing is, is that we're continuing to do a lot of damage. Uh, this is going to be... A lot. It's going to be a lot of damage. We're going to get another set of morsels here because we're going to get the kill. So we guarantee to get morsels. We can still play... Um, how are you dying? Didn't you have... Don't you have lifesteal? You just taking too much damage here? You shouldn't be. Very confused by this. What happened to all of his lifesteal? What happened to your lifesteal? Oh, the sweep. I always forget that. I think if we perils you, you live barely. Maybe we perils the backliner instead and you still live. Wow. So we have to, we have to really get back. Um, Ember? Sick. So we can... I mean, it doesn't really matter. We can play another Ember Morsel, but... Uh, I'm going to put Trample onto... We basically have to get Lifesteal. Like, Lifesteal or Restoring Retreat. And even Restoring Retreat doesn't quite do it. It has to be Restoring Retreat plus... Maybe the Glimmer. Glimmer would also do it. Glimmer and Restoring Retreat together. But I'm also like, I would really like this guy to be able to have Trample. I think it would help a lot with uh, later fights. Maybe we do it to you just to be extra safe. It's a slight bit of damage onto you. Okay. All right, here we go. Tense moment. What do we get? Lifesteal. Uh, the problem is we have no Ember. This is, this is the problem. But we are clearing most of the things. This is the good news. The problem is that you're immediately dying to spikes and there's nothing I can do about it. But okay. 
Um, I feel like you were doing more damage before, but it's fine. Let's go one, two, feast. And we might have to just go for the robot here, but I think we can go root root. Get us close to killing everything. We are gonna have some ember drain. Okay. Well, all of that was very bad. We're gonna save this for later. Uh, we got a block. Bop, bop. Bop, 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 bop. I think just putting the morsel in front saves us here. Oh, nope, he still dies. Uh, we might be in trouble. We might be in a lot of trouble, actually. Yeah, that Ember Drain just killed us. I think we might have lost because of that. Gotta see. Uh, we're almost to the end. This guy just can't, he can't do it all on his own is the problem. We can block a lot of the hits here though. Well, we're gonna try, like we're gonna, we're gonna actually try here. Uh, I, oh my gosh, cannot believe I did that. Um, play this out. How many more do we need? A lot, because it's seven, three, three, 14, and it's trample. If we play this up front, another one, another one, Are you kidding me? What? There's not that many hitters. One, two, three. One, two, three. And they don't even kill them all. I'm so confused. This does not make sense at all that they're all dying. How are they all dying? Trample doesn't go through damage shield. And how is it getting hit? Seven? It's just, it really does not make sense at all to me. I, I, I don't understand it. I, I mean, I can restoring retreat. And then you live and kill almost everything. I guess this is how we're going to have to play it. Um... Wow, I really don't, uh, that is mind boggling to me. This guy's gonna kill me is the problem. There's nothing I can do about it. Was he just dying from spikes? Was that just it? Okay. Uh, yeah, this is this is the problem. This, this guy's just gonna kill me. He's gonna kill my pyre and there's nothing I can do because my sweepers all died. I'm gonna try this one more time. Um. I don't know where along the way that just fell apart. I think it was not getting a lifesteal earlier. I could have put a lifesteal minion in earlier and I didn't, and I think that killed me. Um, we keep the alloy construct. We go... House Kermit, Wildenton. House Kermit. Play this. Play this. Play this. Play this. And maybe we don't trap shoot immediately. We wait until later to trap shoot him. Now well, we can try that. Okay. Well, you're not dying. That is something. Let's put a shade splitter. And this was working. This was working up top with the feast. Um, I would like to see what this is first. Rubble morsel. Okay. So let's go you. You. Jeweler.
Amber Morsel. Feast. Uh, let's go one, two, feast, and then stack your damage. Okay. We cannot play everything. I think morsels are going to be at capacity. Let's hold the shade splitter over again. So glimmer to start. Then Dis uh, we gotta we gotta get something else first. Let's put out. Uh, the problem is we need to feast there, but I think trip. I think moving you down the extra seventy five damage will kill this guy, which means we'll only take damage from him and this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That will get the kill. So then we just gotta get a good morsel to go on this floor with them, and we eat everything else. I think we could even put a. Oh, you know, we could actually put a jeweler up front. Put a jeweler up front. Now you're living anyway. And we can even save the jeweler. So we play one, two, three. Feast. Bring you down. Now you're living. Root seeds the backliner. Invigorating solution. And then we hold the packed morsels for later. Okay, okay. That actually went really, really well. And we still have two damage shield now on the Husk Hermit. Which is way better than what we had before. Um, trample here represents a pretty significant amount of damage onto this guy. The problem is, is the, the death. The death is bad. Uh, I'm just wondering... We're going to lifesteal. If we don't put the trample on yet... Ah, but you know what? We're going to have so much Ember Drain. You know, we can deploy the perils. We can we can go like this. And we see what uh, morsels we get first. Because if we get Ember Morsels... Well, let's start with this. Does this just sort of keep you alive? It does not. How about this? Not yet. Okay, so we got to play... One, there's a there's a rubble morsel. Two, another rubble morsel. Three, okay. Then I think it's just immortal trade. And then we just play this out. Okay. This is looking a lot better than what we had before. Uh, what are we getting uh, next? I think I'm going to... I want to get rid of the, the Contrition now. Let's just put a Shade Splitter back... Or a sting. No, we want to play the sting. Immortal trade. We'll put immortal trade back. Then we can play one, two, perils, feast, contrition. We could bring this guy back down. Like, we might actually kill him here. I'm just worried that he'll do too much damage. Let's see. What is this? How much damage is this? 180. Ba ba ba. 180 plus 90 is not going to be enough. So we don't we don't do that. We just hit, heal you up. How did that make a difference? Why would the sting have made a difference there? Bizarre. Anyway. 
Life steal. Okay, we have perils. This is a good time to get rid of the contrition. In fact, I like all of this. Um, I think it's Shade Splitter. So, uh, we're going to start with you guys. And part of me is like, maybe we just pump up this uh, Morsel Jeweler to get extra damage. Because we're going to play Immortal Trade. Immortal Trade is going to be played. So if we pump up the Morsel Jeweler, we can decide whether we're going to feast it later. But for now, we're going to get rid of this. Give you a Mortal Trade. Which clears everything. Um, Umbra Stone as well. Root Seeds as well. Sting. Okay, that was a negative. Um, and now it's just a question of do we want... This guy's going to hit our Pyre for a lot. This would be 18 extra damage. It's one extra damage, plus we get the damage shield. 222. So we're going to have to hit him five times because of his lifesteal. But I think that's okay. Oh wait, is that right? Five times 17 is 85. Is he going to kill us now? Oh, four times. Four times 17 is 68. We should be okay. Well, let's just check this to be, to be safe. Two. Three. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna live, but it's barely. Okay. We have to get rid of these, this contrition. Steel Enhancer. First hit kills and takes, so he's taking 18. Oh, it's the trample that gets you. But there's a good chance we can kill this guy if we can get really good uh, morsels. can fit three. Oh, I should have played that at the bottom. We want all the damage. So we're going to go one Untumbra and then the two damage morsels. And then feast. Um, and then just put these guys here. I guess we can block. It doesn't really matter. Take one Pyre damage. I mean, it's better than what we were doing before, but we still lost our Sweeper. We never got the uh, drop. There's the trap shoot. Finally got it like a year later. Um, Glimmer here helps, I think. I'm not sure it actually keeps them alive. Currently not. Um, I mean, I could drop this guy down again. Or I could daze Divinity. Let's play this. It gets us really close. Every time we play a spell, they're all going to get armor, though. This is the problem. Uh, I think we block with you. Then you live. I think we bring this guy down. Try to get open 
open lane for our uh, buddy here. Because if he has an open lane, he's going to be doing 19 damage, but he's doing taking 300 per turn. I think we can do it like this. And then we just stack you up, drop you down. Yeah, I think this is the play. Okay. Get rid of this. Okay. Hit, hit. Yeah, the problem is that the timing is not great. Um, it would be great to do some damage, like to actually do some damage on this floor would be pretty sick. Uh, bam, bam, bam. Sting. Shade Splitter. Now they all live. We could bring this guy down. This is gonna happen. Uh, this would actually kill one of the units. Which is pretty sick, and you would gain health. Um, I could even bring this guy down too. And he dies too. Okay. Big moment. Big moment here. Okay. Okay, wait a minute. 600 plus 600. If we immortal trade. That's four turns. Holy crap! After all of that. So it was just trying to keep the one guy alive. Wow. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Oh, wow. So apart from having to restart the one time on this final fight, and the only thing we changed was just playing a little bit more optimal with uh, morsels to keep our one guy alive. Like, putting that one morsel just changed everything. Because our guy lived a lot longer, then we could play around it. But man, that was... Uh, that was intense. Okay, and 69 damage taken. There you go. And with that, this has been Nate. You can also call me Nathan. Please never call me Nathaniel. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hey, we unlocked uh, two cards. Thanks for watching.